When I feel surrounded on all sides When anxious thoughts come to my mind I remember where my help comes from You're on my side And I Imagine you're the warden of a prison and you got to build it and to oversee the construction and you were really excited. You had a, an adult son who wanted to help and be involved, so you were able to get him on the team. You worked together on it. You knew every in and out of that facility and you were proud of it and it was for prison, it was beautiful, and uh, you were, you know, it was something that gave you and your son pride, and you enjoyed it. Well, let's say that a few years go by, the, the prison is now full of all kind of people. Yes, murderers, rapists, child molesters, robbers, drug dealers, but also white-collar criminals, 
you know, people who took some money from their work and stuff like that. And so they're in prison as well. A whole, whole gamut of people, all of them guilty, but of all kinds of different crimes, right? Uh, some we'd label really, really bad and some not so bad. Well, this prison catches on fire. It's a bad fire. And no one can get into the control room to unlock the doors to give everybody a chance to survive, to get out of there. Well, your son, small and wiry, knows how to get into that control room and knows he can hit the locks to set everyone free to allow them a chance to escape the fire. You know the only way that those prisoners are going to have a chance of surviving is for your son to do that. Well, this is exactly what Jesus Christ did for us. He is the Son of God. God is the creator of the universe. He made it all, and it was beautiful. In the book of Genesis, he says it was all good. And even after he made man, he said it was very good. He loved the creation. There was one thing we weren't allowed to do. We chose to do it, Adam and Eve. At that very moment in time, they were expelled from the garden. The ground became more difficult to work, and all of their children were born with a nature to want everything their way. Talking about the flesh and what we covered last week. Now, the Bible says that we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. That there is none righteous, no, not one. There's none that understands. There's none that seeks after God. And yet we think that we can be good enough to get to heaven on our own. But if that were possible, why? Why would God send his son knowing that he was going to die, knowing that he was going to be tortured, knowing that he was going to be ridiculed and mocked. Why would he do that if there was any other way? In fact, the entire Old Testament constantly shows us that we are incapable on our own to, to please God, to enter his perfection, enter without sin. It's impossible for us. So he set up sacrifices to cover our sins, to make us right with him knowing that it'd have to happen over and over and over. So he sent a son, Jesus Christ, his perfect son, who was the only key to allow us to escape the prison of sin and death. He set us free. He gave us the opportunity to be free. We just have to believe, believe that God sent him, that he was born of a virgin, that he lived a sinless life, that he was murdered and martyred. He was put in a tomb, and three days later, he rose again. God raised him from the dead. He was seen by over 500 people for 40 days. He turned the world upside down because He's given us the opportunity to be free. He's gave us the opportunity to be with him forever, with his father forever. He's gave us the opportunity to escape the, the punishment that we deserve. Again, we've all done wrong. You can't be good enough. I can't be good enough. But when we accept Jesus Christ, we are granted eternal life. We are saved from destruction. And he puts us on a new path. Again, like last week, he fills us full of the Holy Spirit. He gives us the Holy Spirit to start changing our minds, changing our hearts, and helping us to finally be able to do good, to make a difference, and to live a blessed life. Yes, we're still going to have trials, troubles, tribulations, there's still going to be a lot of questions we have to ask. There's still going to be scripture we're going to wrestle with. But at the end of the day, I can tell you 
that I know and many, many people know that God is with us, God is in us, and God is going to get us through. You've been given an opportunity to escape the fire. My question is, is will you accept it? Will you thank God for it? And will you live for the one who saved you? I love you. I hope to see you next week. Peace.